If I were to um, coach a person as to how to enter the field of forensic engineering, I would encourage them to get some experience doing some real live projects because then they get a flavor of what kinds of decisions are made, what kind of compromises are, uh, are made during the design process. They get a real live uh, exposure to what it's like to be an engineer or an architect. If one comes right out of school and goes into forensic engineering, you miss that valuable experience. So being able to relate technology back to a uh, real life experience is, in, is invaluable. The reason that you're hired to be a forensic engineer is to help people to understand what has happened when things go wrong. And if you've had that experience of being in projects that have gone wrong, then you, you will get to know, you will know when you look at a project within a very short period of time, what the areas are to focus on. It makes you much more valuable to your client. So I think the, the best prepar preparation for an architect or an engineer that wants to be a forensic engineer or architect is to first of all get your li and get your degree, second, get your license, and third, get your experience. And after about ten years, five, ten years, you will have enough experience in the real world to be able to put together uh, a reasonably good forensic engineering uh, career. The other thing that I think is very valuable for a forensic engineer is to be able to think in uh, a, a more intuitive manner. The, uh, the problem that a lot of uh, traditional engineers have is that they think in a linear fashion. If you are a, uh, if you're confronted with these problems, these forensic engineering problems, the most important thing to do is to expand the problem not to limit it. And um, what I find in uh, being opposite other engineers is the greatest fault that they have is that they will uh, invariably begin to uh, define prior to going into the situation what the problem is and then go look for all of those, in those evidences and pieces of evidence that uh, s support their theory about what the problem is. The result is that that is not scientific method. The, uh, the advantage it gives me is that I have a way to discredit their approach. And if somebody knows of this going into the process as a forensic engineer, they become a much stronger individual.